Hi, my name is Leo Brayman, and I am a PGY2 Family Medicine resident. Today, I will present our quality improvement project, Hocus Pocus, introducing the magic of ultrasound to family medicine residents. In addition to myself, this work was done uh, with the help of Drs. Alexandra Christophus, Donald Johnson, Uncle Kapadia, Olivia Schimmel, and our principal investigator, Dr. Catherine Cox. So for some background, point-of-care ultrasound, or POCUS, is an essential diagnostic tool that can improve clinical outcomes, increase efficiency of care, and lower costs. In 2018, the American Academy of Family Physicians, or AAFP, recommended that family medicine residency programs implement a POCUS curriculum. However, many have yet to do so. Our project seeks to implement a POCUS curriculum into our family medicine residency program and evaluate its impact on resident knowledge, confidence, and patient care. More specifically, our study aims to determine if implementation of a formal POCUS curriculum utilizing AAFP's guidelines would improve resident comfort with POCUS in regards to patient evaluation, medical decision making, and treatment. And we use the PDSA model of quality improvement, plan, do, study, act. The data from the study was used to determine if it would be beneficial to implement a formal POCUS curriculum for all family medicine residents during the next academic year. So how did we go about implementing this project? Well, we designed a retrospective observational cohort study and our primary intervention was to administer hands-on interactive POCUS training sessions at our Family Medicine Residency Programs Clinic. These interactive training sessions were guided by either our principal investigator and or another uh, doctor who is extensively trained in POCUS, such as sports medicine physicians. Before and after each of our interactive training sessions, we administered anonymized surveys that assess general perceptions of POCUS, as well as confidence in evaluation, decision-making, and treatment using POCUS. And this project has been ongoing from the 1st of November in 2022 to the present. All participation was voluntary and informed consent was obtained for each participant. Up to now, we have had three interactive POCUS sessions with nine attendees each. Again, all surveys were voluntary and were completed prior to and following each session. And for our analysis, the scores were compared from before the first session with uh, the survey after the third session. When comparing the data prior to the first session with the data after the third session, we found that resident confidence in evaluating patients based on focus, uh, POCUS increased from 1.29 on average to 2.33. We also saw resident confidence in medical decision making and providing intervention based on POCUS to increase from before the first session to after the third session. We also assessed resident perceptions on the impact of improving confidence in using and interpreting POCUS. And before and after every session, residents generally agreed or strongly agreed that improving confidence in using and interpreting POCUS can improve the quality of care and allow for more cost-effective care. We also found that residents generally agreed or strongly agreed that hands-on training and pre-recorded videos could improve confidence in the use of POCUS. All in all, these data show that our interactive POCUS sessions increased resident confidence in utilizing POCUS in an ambulatory setting. These data also show general agreement that improving confidence in the use of POCUS can improve quality and cost effectiveness of care and that hands-on and video sessions can be valuable for improving confidence and focus. 
So what are the implications of this project? Well, we found that implementing a POCUS curriculum will assist family medicine residents in practicing cost-effective care, as well as reduce morbidity and mortality. However, there were some limitations. We only had a small sample size and only three sessions thus far. And so to address these limitations, as well as in light of our results that we got, we intend to implement a formal POCUS curriculum at Wayne State University Family Medicine Residency Program in the next academic year. So that is the end, and here are a couple pictures of us uh, practicing our skills that we gained during our POCUS sessions. Any questions?